Hello everybody, my name is Sirius, I'm a galactic fur baby and I've asked mum if she would do a tarot spread for you because I've got some messages from the home planet and if you didn't know Sirius B is where the dog beings come from and my sister Lyra and I we come from where the cat beings come from. So mum's shuffled the cards. She's cut them into three. And I'm going to help her choose. Five cards to see what's going on and to give you our perspective. The feline perspective, the cat f fur baby, galactic fur baby perspective of what's going on. So, the first one is Four of Pentacles. Second one is the Strength card. Third one is Ten of Cups. Next one is the Nine of Wands and then this one is the Sun. Are they alright baby? Yes? They're the right cards? Yes? Or no? I think that's a yes. There you are. So, the, the first card is a recent past so this is advising you to let go of all those things you've been clinging to hanging on to for dear life and oh no 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 i can't let go of this because if i let go of this i'll have nothing left there's also a sense of not allowing the inner child that part of you that is creative and full of the joy of living to come through and express itself in an incredible way. So don't hang on too tightly to what you think you need. Allow things to fall away. And this can be friendships. This can be old habits, old thought forms, old belief systems. Time to let them go. Your present desires, the strength card. Knowing that you have an incredible inner strength to achieve what it is you came to do on this planet. You are more powerful than you can possibly realise. So let go of things. They don't serve you anymore. And find that incredible strength that is within you. The next card is what you don't expect. The Ten of Cups. This is a card of celebration. Of bringing together of incredible energies within you. This is your Divine Masculine. Which is what I represent. And your Divine Feminine, which is what Lyra represents. So the coming together of these incredible parts of you. Stepping back into your power, embracing that incredible energy that runs through every part of your being. This is the short-term future. The Nine of Wands. And as Mum said in her recent video out in Blackberry Camp, the winds of change, Zephyrus, the west wind, the winds of change in your sails. But the Nine of Wands can be about delays, things taking a little bit longer than usual. And so as we are in a period of Mercury retrograde, this is saying, don't rush, don't rush. Allow things to unfold 
in divine time. Do the planning, do the paperwork, get all the bits and pieces together and then in the not too distant future, possibly within the next three weeks, you will be able to move forward and to achieve those goals that you've set out to do. And then the final card is your long-term future. And this is lovely because it's the sunshine. And we do love the sunshine. It makes us very happy. And this card represents the light that you have within you. It's the best card in the deck. And it says all of this hard work that you've been putting in, and it is hard work to let go of things sometimes, but you have the strength, you have that inner knowing, you have that perfect balance of male and female energy, divine masculine and divine feminine. Take your time, don't rush, allow things to unfold as they are meant to, and the sun is shining on all of your projects, on all of your endeavours, all of your dreams and all of your goals. So we hope you enjoyed this message. We will have some more for you. If you enjoy our little videos, please like and please share. And we send you lots and lots and lots of galactic love.